So anyway, I figured I want to build, but yet y'all guys still want to play a little bit. So let's do a little build type of a thing, and then we can play in it. What do you say? What do you say? Okay, so this would be the shower, and we're going to do that, and this is a, we're going to give this, a, we're going to do a laundry room thing over here, and now we're going to screw around with some stairs for funsies, because uh, we're going with rustic today. I don't know why, just what I feel like building. So that's what we're going to build. Um, there we go. Just when they said, hey, we're going to give you some stairs that you can do some cool stuff with, but they're not going to make a lot of sense. And when we give you ladders, they're not going to work. That's what they're going to do. That's what they do. That's what we do. Because they said, hey, this sounds like a fantastic idea. You said you wanted stairs. You said you wanted all of these things. And now you have them. And you don't like them. Simmers, we are fickle. We like our things the way we like our things. We do not like it when you mess with them. Mmm, sweet tea. Delicious. It's hot over here. So I said, hey, I'm going to make some sweet tea today. And I did. It was delicious. But the window and door thing, love. So much. I love it so much. It's lovely. It's my favorite. Okay, and there's that. I think I'm gonna make this a half wall though. Just for funsies. It just makes more sense, visually. I have yet to really use the window door thing and I don't build very much. I love it. See, you know how I just I just love it. I mean, you can you had the choice to have it in like full units, squares, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. I call them units. But anyway, but you can just move them all about. One of the tricks that I learned from Kaylee, this is, and I have move objects on, like you would take a, let's say like a single bed, or actually really you could do this with a double bed too. And you go into the dining rooms and you pull out just a regular table, you get double table like that, and you can put, well, let me put the grid on, put this out like so where it's just kind of like halfway between the bed and the thing, right? Um, and you can put like a chair right here. I love this one, this song. Mm -hmm. And then I can take, say, this thing and put this at the head of the bed. And they can get in through here. That's all you need for liter for a bedroom. So you can make a nice little bedroom. In nine units. And this will be where the, this would be where the door goes in. And that's move up. Otherwise this, you wouldn't be allowed to do this cause it wouldn't let you, but you could because they can get through here and still use the bed completely. That's really what move objects just allows you to do. 
If you have any building questions, all you have to do is ask. I'm happy to demonstrate and answer questions. I'm good at answering questions. Okay, so let's see, what kind of a big bed do we want over here? Something rustic and cute. I like this one for over here. Uh, tan, green, blue, gray. Hmm. And then there's this one over here too. I want green over here. Then I think I'm going to take this as like... I like it. It's cute. It's quaint. It's simple. Sometimes you don't need complicated. Hmm. So... Let's go into and actually start furnishing here. Uh, there we go. Come on. Okay. Toilet, sink, shower, That's a bathroom. Now, one of the things I like to do, especially with move objects on, is take this little thing, the Cutlass of Light, and shove this behind So it's kind of like under cabinet lighting, but not really. I think it's cute. It's nice. It adds like some light and things. Light and things. Now these are super cute. I love them so much. Brand new lights from the new pack. Adorable. Adorable. I love it. Sweet. Okay, cool beans. This goes over here. Then this is because it is radio, television, bookshelf. It is like one stop shop. It's fantastic. Especially if you're using making small living spaces. I love it. Mmm, that's good. Iced tea. That's delicious. Okay. Beds. do that. We're going to storage, dressers, 
Do without moved objects. Oh, you wouldn't be able to do that. Hey, Kaylee, how you doing? I was in build mode, and I'm not just talking about the game. My brain went, hmm, building, sweet tea, people. Well, I have homemade sweet tea, so phantasmic. Uh, I think the storm is passing over me without too much of a thing. I figured I'd stream early today because it's hot out and I want to walk Monet, but I want to walk him later so he doesn't burn his toes on the pavement. Tiny toes. He has tiny toes. He can't burn his toes. I know, they're so little. They're cute. Oh, and this is... So, you know, family comes first. Animals are family. My animals are family. So, I made the, I made the, the, the executive decision to stream early. Um, and then walk him later. I wanted to build a little bit and then I wanted to play a little bit and so we're going to do a little bit of both. I have not heard a report back from my mom about picking up her dog because she's picking up her dog today. I'm excited. And it's not even my dog. It's my mom's dog. Well, my brother and my mom's dog. Because he lives at home. Because autism. But it works out. Especially during this pandemic nonsense. Neither of them are alone. Just me. That's exciting. I'm over it. Okay. Now we can do a little bit of decoration now that I've added furnitures. And what was this? Oh, that's a shower. I knew that. I knew that all along. Showers. Oh, I should probably maybe do floors and stuff. See, there's cluttering and then there's decorating. And as far as I'm concerned. One is not the same as the other. Though important. No. There we go. Cute. Little bit of rug layering going on over here. As soon as I find another rug to use that I like. Well, it's like plants, but paintings are like plants for the walls. They're like plants for the walls. And then I can add plants on the walls. <laughs> like, I can put one right there. I can put one like right there. It's like a collage. <laughs> well, it is a collage. It's a collage of things that you hang on walls. And of course, I had to shove a plant in the corner. It's important. Green. Green. What are you doing? Wouldn't you like to know? It's a corral for plants. It's really what it is. Just because. Mm -hmm. So now I have to find the toy. We're going to put. Which one is 
I want to put in there, but I don't use often enough because it's quite wide. This one. Not sure where to put a plant. Put it on top of a banister. Hmm, that's not nearly big enough. Mm -hmm. Because we can put a boxed tree in a house. And that right there is just a depiction of my mental insanity. Plants. So not only does clustering them outside work, clustering them inside works. It fills up space. And it's really nice to look at. Because even with wallpaper, walls can seem a little flat and then you have really sharp corners. And plants just have this natural way of softening edges. Okay, now I get to bombard this one with this side of plants. Yes. Like if I'm inside of a room and it's not like a big decorative, I guess, plant mural, I like to keep it at a nice little cluster of three. Of varying heights, different styles of plants, different pots changing the texture and the colors. Hello, mouse. Welcome. How are you? How's it going? What is happening? Hmm. Nope, that's a bit much. Nope, that's a bit much. This is a bit shorter, but no, I don't think so. There we go. building. Well, I am building. It seems like I'm just building today. Uh, we will be playing in it soon. Building a little... Oh, I need to... I forgot. I moved that out. A bit. No. Come here. fun and cute for children that may poison them in their sleep. I mean, we don't want to do that. That would be bad and wrong and weird. Definitely smiley face succulents for sure. And a populant. Gotta have a populant. Mm. That. It'll have that one. 
Smitten kitten. Oh, this looks like a very angry Gracie with a plant on her on her back. She's like, I want to eat the plant, not wear the plant. And that's what you say? Yes, dear. Cute. Liking it. I don't want it to be too much. I think that's just enough. And we'll put a similar one over here, facing that way. Just kind of frames it. Frames the table. Over here, we're going to add. All right. Now to drive you people crazy with landscaping the outside. Not many people actually get to watch me do that part. Though, I'm kind of digging it right now. That looks cute on the inside. Now, time to do the outside. Boom. Say it with me now. When in doubt, plants. Okay. The uh, Trovo isn't used to my thing yet. But soon. Soon I will inundate you all with plants. And you'll be like, why is she doing all of the things with all of the plants? Because it's fun. And you'll be thinking, where has she been all of my life? <gasps> right here, baby. Well, I was on Twitch, but whatever. Whatever. Mm. Now, let's see. Yeah, see, the plants still jump up on the foundation. That's kind of annoying. They didn't fix like that, like they were said they were gonna. They didn't. <clears throat> All right, let's start in debug. Should we do a water feature? Let's see what kind of trees are around here. Okay. my weird obsession with plants. You will learn this. I am completely and utterly obsessed with plants and landscaping in The Sims 4. And yeah, it's uh, it can get interesting. I mean, in the best possible way, of course. I ain't shy with my plants. You say, hey, can you landscape this for me? Yep but just make sure that your computer can handle it when I give it back. I'm very indecisive with my plants today, though. Are you alright? Still waking up? My son, ooh! Last day of school, then on, he's on from the top. Oh, so you're, um, Australia? South America? Understanding the southern equator. What part of the world are you in? I want to go to Australia. 
I want to go to a lot of places. Maybe when we're not all at the risk of death from COVID, maybe. Also, I would have to win the lottery, but you know, it's nice to have plans. 